Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Psycho Sunny Cover video. I am your robot building host for today, Mad Dog. I'm bringing you Robocraft, a build episode. Don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and make such a lovely sound. Take a bite of that like button, not literally of course. And please, please, share the content, help us expand the Psycho's universe. How's it going, guys? Mad Dog here with another Joy of Robo Building episode. Let me get my controller out of the way. I was just playing some some Anthem, enjoying myself in a, another robot game. So, alrighty, guys. Uh, we have a request from uh, a fan, uh, Dark Dragon. Shout out to you. This robot build that we're doing today is going to be just for you. So, uh, I think we still have a bait available. Yes, we do. So. Uh, we're going to make, let's see, let me see what it was called again. Uh, it's a ship from Star Trek called, uh, The Defiant. If I'm saying that correctly. And there it is. I don't know why I don't have this up top, so that way I don't have to, uh, draw the out. And I also, oh, don't do that. There we go. I need to be able to see what's going on over here. Alright. Get back into the game. And let's go ahead and name this right now. So that way we already have the name there. There we go. Find And let's go ahead and get in there. Go ahead and edit that non-existent ship. Alrighty guys, so uh, on today's episode, uh, we are going to need... I think we're going to be using... <coughs> we're going to be using uh, compact and light cubes. So... It just depends on how big the ship's going to be and what weaponry we're going to use. As for movement, we're going to be using either the T3s or the T4s. We'll have to see what's better. It's only two more additional CPU for a little bit more carrying capacity. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to use light cubes or compact. Uh, we're going to be using the T5 thrusters and the T4s. And as for weapons, uh, I think we're going to be doing these front mounted lasers. And then we might do one giant seeker missile on the very top. So we'll see how it goes, guys. And of course, if we can, we'll have some various uh, shield bits here and there. And yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it, huh? Let's start off with some, uh, the comp... Do the compact cubes automatically make it a tier T5? They do. Interesting. So if we use tier 1 medium cubes, we get... That's how we can keep it tier 1. We use heavy, that's tier 3. Light cubes are considered tier 4, and then tier 5. Well, I guess it's going to be a tier 5 robot, guys. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, mirror mode is your best friend. Never forget that. Alright, we're just going to get the basic shape real quick. Yeah. Pretty much as soon as we put these down, it was already be a tier 5 robot. Yep. How big I want to make this just yet. Something else I need to see before I can make that judgment call. Uh, the front of the ship is not that big, so let's go. 
there. Should be good. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty much the same size once you get further back. Let me look at my other picture real quick. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, it goes in quite a bit. So, let's see there. And it goes in from there a little bit. Let's make it one more. There we go. Yes. And then the final one will have the thrusters in it. Okay. Uh, this overall needs to be bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. It's probably where it needs to be so that way it looks properly. And we can do this two down and do it three like that. Alright. Now let's see how big these. I don't remember how big these covers are, so we need to get a visual on these. Alright, let's get this robot in the air. So we also need to figure out how we're going to put these on here. So, Let's go ahead and get those hovers. Oh, use the giant ones. Yeah, those aren't really useful in the way we want. So let's go ahead and stick with these. And then we also need, I think of the tier threes. Compact cubes. Hmm. I'm actually curious if I did that. Maybe we would have enough room to get the bigger ones on here. Or get some more bigger ones on here. If we do another one over here. Uh, there's that slope one. There we go. And now we should be able to get another one right there. There we go. I like it. Can we also do that over here? That would be nice. Let's see. Need to make sure that this thing floats, guys. And it floats for a while. So. Stick it out a little bit, but we can extend that out a little bit to fix that. And last but not least, let's go ahead and get one right here. Let's 
There we go. Now we should definitely be able to carry the weight that we need to. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and make a nice little little barricade for these guys right here. Wait, what just happened? Okay. There it goes. Go ahead and do compact edge, but we need to do the right one. There we go. curve this I need to remember this needs to be curved oh yeah actually that still would work wouldn't it This one needs to come out a few more. There we go. Which means we can extend all of this out an additional once, I believe. Looks like the front of the ship, with the exception of it's kind of pointed in the front, isn't it? Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, we need the cone would be best here, right? There we go. That'll work out nicely. And then we can do... more up. There we go. And bam. That look about right to you guys? Mm. I need to do a little something here. What can we do? this look more smooth. Mm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Maybe... Yeah, it has to be this, doesn't it?
The only thing I can think of is to make this four thick, and then that way we can make the top go like that too, but... The only thing I can do is do that, but then that doesn't match up the sides like it should. Or will it? Let's see. Nope, that won't work either. Hmm. That's tougher than I thought it was going to be. I guess if I do that, then I could do this, and then do a triangle piece here, which will work, and then, okay, I got this figured out now. Alright, sorry guys, sometimes it takes me a minute. And then now we can do these for the edge. Not as smooth as the normal Defiant, but you know, there's not much we can do on that. So let's go ahead and get the T5s. So we need to build around this. Okay. Let's get these compacts. Where are my nice. There they are. There we go. Looking nice. I like it. And then curve it back in. I don't think. I don't think we're high enough yet, but let's see. Nope, it won't let us look. What if we do this? Let's go ahead and build up this side so we can get this correct. Actually, I think we're going to have to do away with these. They're going to create an issue. Yep, they sure are, aren't they? Darn. It's okay, we got the front back one still, so. It's no biggie. No biggie. This triangle edge is in here. There we go. and boxed off. Gotta make sure everything is nice and sealed. nice and sealed in. If 
it would be possible to do what I'm kind of hoping to do here. Let's see. Alright, so we need... What do we need here? Let me get the right angle here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so we need the cone wherever you're at. There you are. Looks good. And then for there, we're going to need the curved inner edge. Wait, there's a compact version of that. There it is. There we go. And instead of what I was thinking, it's going to be that piece. Okay. I guess we'll have to do the curved ones instead for this to work. But at least that does what I want it to do. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Like so. And. Bam and bam. Nice. Hopefully we can fit one more in there. There we go. Nice. Okay. So yeah, we definitely need to bring this all down one. So let's go ahead and do that right now. getting our CPU up there aren't we after we get this bottom half made with compact cubes the rest will be light we may have to switch out to light already but we'll see we'll see all right we need you back. There we go. And then we need you back. And then we can do this one. Let's see if we can do these like so. And then. Decides to randomly scare us all the time, doesn't it? <laughs> I really wish we could. Yeah, there's no way to trick this, is there? Nothing on top of the wing, right? Uh, I could get away with doing that. No. 
Alright, we're just gonna have to raise it up one more level. Either raise it up one more level or make this smaller. The only way to make that smaller would be to go with the T4s. Now I think we can uh, progress. Yeah, I thought I was getting missing something right there. Actually, we don't need this back half now. So that'll save on the design. But we can also improve upon it inside. That creates the nice light effect and so one two three yeah that'll still keep it the three thick I want to but do you think we need to go back down with this how are we doing on CPU we are running out so let's let's do this for the rest <clears throat> I think I'm going to be able to fit the thrusters I wanted to in here now. I think I have to go with the T2s. Should we take a layer off? That look better? Actually, it does look better. Not as sealed in, but let me look at the picture in the rear for this. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Still need a few more thrusters on this thing, I feel like, because I don't think that's gonna be enough, but we'll see what that does for us. Let's go ahead and get some light cubes now. Light cubes, there we are. Alright, now 
let's get these. I can live with that. That looks nice. And then this one can go like that. And then this one can go like that. There we go. Okay. Bottom is pretty secure now, so we can concentrate on getting this right now. Hmm. Now we need to do something similar to this on the bottom as we did up here. Oh, I know. We need to do this. Where are you at? would fit there to make this look smooth. kind of looks like the right color, so... Okay. Yeah. It's really that B, but then that makes it difficult for... to do this one otherwise it won't look right yeah and then we can just do this it won't look 100% correct but it's a lot better than what it was gonna look like I guess we also could... Darn, I really wish I had like a... Like a... Square to smooth round kind of look. Pyramid wouldn't do good here, would it? No. <laughs> Make uh, two weird things then. All right, at least that only makes one side kind of off. I can live with that. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Like... That, maybe? Yeah. That looks nice. I like it. Okay. Just be told we need to do this. Okay. 
And then we can do this one. Alright. We are running out of CPU fast though, guys, so. this there and then we can do <clears throat> I guess we could just do a square there makes sense yeah that makes sense Alright, let me look at my picture one more time. Get that above look. I guess we could technically do these out one more. And then the shape would look correct. just right here like so there we go I like it there we go and now we can do squares not let us fit on there. There we go. Alright. That looks more correct now. Alrighty. And... Let's see. This is raised though a little bit. So I guess we could get away with doing this. Now we can fit some bigger thrusters in here. Let's see if we can fit some T3s. No, still can't. Fit one tier four? No. <laughs> One, two, three. And I think I like the look of the three little ones. All right. Hoping it could squeeze a few more in there, but can we fit another hover in there, maybe? We could. It's really funky. Let's put a... There we go. Not as flashy, but... Maybe we ought to do a tier two. There we go. Not sticking out as much. A backup uh, rester there. I like it. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and switch back to light cubes. So we need to make sure we have just enough thruster for all this. Let's go ahead and curve this. There we go. And yeah. nice. I think that was a nice touch. Nah, we'll leave that alone. I also think it needs to come forward two more. Yeah, it needs to come forward two more. So one, two. Now we can do curve edge there, like so. There we go. That's better, I think. Okay, let's get the weapons on here before we run out of room. Yeah, we use the regular one. Wait, it's facing the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Looks nice. I like it. Alrighty. Now let's. Let's go ahead and just do that. There we go. Oh, I have a good idea. We can do the cone here. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that a lot, actually. And then it gives it a little extra protection. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add a few extra thrusters on here. Make the uh, tier threes ought to be big enough. There we go. And that should be more than enough thrust. So let's get on these other lasers we wanted to put on here. So let's figure out front mounted lasers. begin to wonder if there's any place I can put front mounted lasers. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get the equivalent of this. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's five. There 
go. Alright. I think that's good on lasers. Yeah. And the only other thing I would like to put on here would be a happy little shield. If we can fit it somewhere. But I'm not sure if that's possible in this design. something like that, but it doesn't really protect much, does it? Doesn't really serve a purpose there. Maybe we can put it there? No, it's too big. Hmm. Maybe we could do these ones. It does change the look of it a little bit, but it also does provide some good protection there. So I do like that. And let's see, what where else could we put some? We could also do these. If they fit correctly somewhere. No? Yeah, it's gotta be those other ones. Okay. It was worth a try. Alright, so we got two happy little shields on there. We still have enough for some thrust or something, so... Let's get... One more thrusters here on the side? Let's see. Which ones can we fit? Another T3 on each side. Looks like we could fit a T4 even. Or could we t fit a tier 5? Fit tier 5s on the side. Doesn't take away from the look of it too much. There we go. Not 100% the way I wanted this design to turn out, but not bad either. All right, let's test it and make sure it floats. <laughs> That's the important part, guys.
Of course, we can never flip over, because if we flip over, then everybody will just shoot at that one block and we lose four hovers. Pretty quick for a hover, too. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm very happy that that came out correctly, so let us color it. That's not much to the color. Looks like it's pretty much white. Some reds and some blues. Alright. Apparently there is a red here, so let's... Let's go ahead and erase these, actually. There we go. There we go. Red there. Like some red on the side. I'll just do this thruster on the side red then. There we go. And let's see. There's one strip in the front here as well. Looks like there, there. Actually, all the way to there, looks like. And then we got blue in here. Okay. And then this needs to be the same blue as this. So, yep, let's break the blue. Okay. And. Actually, the, in this picture, are red. All right, we'll see red instead. Red with a blue glow. There we go. That works. And then I guess the thrusters in the back. Let's just do those blue. the guns since we're doing the ship white we'll do everything gray there we go all right uh, yeah. <laughs> Not the smoothest thing in the world, but we did a pretty decent job, I think. So, alrighty, guys. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take her into a test battle and see how she does. Hopefully you like this Black Dragon. If there's any modifications you'd like me to make to it, I will be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, let's take it versus AI and see how we do. Should be an interesting design. 
We certainly get the firepower for pretty much anything, so. This is Team Deathmatch. Kill the enemy oh. team to win. The first team to reach Let the me fix my wins. webcam real quick. The battle for Birmingham Power Station has begun. There we go. Alright. ran into me and messed me up. Guys, you can't keep running into me and messing me up.
Oh, that did not work well. That did not work well. <clears throat> Alright, we need some thrusters to prevent the spinning like that. Let's go back to edit real quick here. Figure out what we can do here. We absolutely need to fix this. So since we have the room here, let's go ahead and get some more thrusters in there. Uh. Go ahead and lose this. You really want it'll let us fit that one there, but not those, huh? Get rid of these really powerful ones and do instead of those, let's do the T2s. I mean, they're still strong, but not as strong as the other ones. So, or I guess if I get rid of that. And I can do that, and I can close this off. That'd be nice. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? Alright, and now... Back to white. And... Let's put a... Youth thrusters in the back there. One thruster in the back there? And maybe one in the front here? I wonder if that would be enough to stabilize it. I think I see what the problem is here. This needs to all shift forward one. And I think that would solve it. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Let's get... Now we can get those T4 hovers back. And now we gotta eliminate this, put that forward, and then put that one back. There we go. Now we can put this light block back right here, and should we go we get that T2 hover back over here, bam. And now we need to be able to fit thrusters somewhere here in the front. This will mess with the design a little bit, but I 
think I need those thrusters strategically placed like that, otherwise it just won't work. <laughs> or maybe if I put... Uh, it won't let me. Maybe I can just put it right here. There we go. They'll be hidden on the sides. There, now I can put that one back. Two in the front, one in the back, well, three in the back, really. Alright, let's test that out, see how it does now. Whoa! Made it worse. <laughs> Let's take the thrusters off and see what happens. Maybe the thrusters just screwed it up. Maybe I just needed to put the hovers one forward one and then that fixed the balance. We'll just have to see how our beautiful design here <laughs> unfolds. the one, two, three, and then the four, five on the sides. Let's test this baby out again. <clears throat> See what she'll do. Side to side seems to be the issue. Maybe I need some hovers underneath on the sides? Maybe that's all it is. Need a few more hovers just to stabilize it. Or this one being very far in the back is messing up with the balance and we have to put it here for it to work. Let's try that. Alright, movement. Two. Just enough room for it. Should be able to fit. He's in there, it's just like that. There we go. And there we go as well. thing I can think of would to be to place a hover on the back here. Do we, do we have enough CPU left to do two hovers here? <laughs> it won't even let me make this skinnier in here. Oh, 
Can we put one more thruster in there? Nope, they collide. Probably would have to switch them all to T1 to fit them in there. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's see. Alright. looking because I didn't do it at the top too but let's see maybe I can fit the three back there like so Test that out, see how that does, and then we'll go from there. Please work. Really want this design to work. So far, so good. Uh oh, left over again. But, not as wild as it was. So we're on to something there. thrusters and see about because in the picture here let's see let's look back at our picture it's not really thrusters back there so we could just hello to you sir I'm in the middle of a recording, otherwise I would answer you back, so sorry about that. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's get P2 hovers on the front end. Oh, we can't. Hmm. Interesting dilemma we have here. Where could we put these? Thing I else I could see I could possibly do would be if I could squeeze some in right here. Let's see. T1. 
T2s are probably too big to fit right there, right? What about the T1s? T1 would fit. Maybe that's all it needs right there. You definitely can't fit it anywhere else. So let's test that out. See if it's nice and stable now. Please work. <laughs> Let's get rid of those th those uh, hovers and just put thrusters there instead. <clears throat> See what that accomplishes. I will play with you as soon as I'm done. Maybe we should do a T3 since we got the room. Oh, that's what's going to make this difficult. So T2s it is. Alright. There's some thrusts there. I think thrusts there as well. And let's go ahead and get this in there to make that look nice and pretty. Maybe I can put one more thruster there. We'll see. Be the T ones, wouldn't it? That should be fine. All right. Let's test that out and see what happens. crazy but it might work it might work we need to create drag so let's put some heavy cubes in the front and see if that helps so let's just get rid of the thrusters in the front I 
What we can do is at least have side to side thrusters. Got some thrusters for turning. Oops, did that mean to take that away? Alright, it was a T4 laser if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Color was gray. There we go. And let's get heavy blocks. curious if this will work like I want it to. Let's see if that's enough weight. Or too much weight. <laughs> it's too much weight now. Wow. Way too much weight in the nose now. That that's funny. Maybe if we do medium cubes. <laughs> oh, that 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 is hilarious. That is hilarious. Sorry for the extra long episode, folks, but I really want this bot to work for Dark Dragon. So let us remove these heavy cubes and replace them with mediums. Let's see if medium cubes are too heavy. <clears throat> medium cubes are too heavy too. What just happened? sure here now guys <laughs> what to do to fix this seems everything we've done is just making it worse now all right let's just move all the mediums now all the medium cubes Go ahead and replace them with light cubes. And... Still want to put a hover in the front here, so let's go ahead and go with the... T1 would fit there. There we go. 
fit it that way. All right. And let's remove these ones. Let's just see what that does for us. And replace this with that, so that way we don't have uneven balance of power from the front to the back. And now... We should be able to put some of these thrusters back. Let's test this one more time, guys. So far, so good. I think if they wanted to add something else to the game, they should add like a stabilizer module so that way it can help you with this type of thing. Hmm. Really bouncy back and forth still. Maybe I still needed those ones on the side. can't be that far off the ground. Maybe that's what the issue is. Just don't go full height. Seems to be the, doing the trick so far. can't hover too high off the ground, so if we do that number, that will flip us. There we go. Then we just gotta mess with the thrusters until we get ourselves correct. Yep, this is gonna be a little unstable, guys. We're getting too bouncy with just push ourselves into the ground. I mean, it's not like we're. Uh, I just don't want to keep the the underneath vulnerable though. That is, once we start losing those, we're just grounded at that point. to do guys is just not climb any hills with this one. This one's just going to be an out in the open bot uh, back behind the rest of the guys to provide cover. That's about it. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's test it one more time and see where it goes from there. Yeah, hovers are a lot harder to Everything flying related has gotten tougher to um, to build things with since this new update came out. But if you can get them right, they will outperform anything. So let's go ahead and quit. Let's go ahead and play versus AI.
is Team Deathmatch. Kill the enemy team to win. The first team to reach the target total wins. This is the firm, there we go. I thought hover was the way to go with this one, but well, there's not really anywhere we can place wings without messing up the design majorly. Hmm. Maybe if it's consistently the same hovers throughout the whole bottom. Maybe that's what the uh, problem is here. Let's try one more thing real quick, guys, and then we will give up. <laughs> Alright, let's do tier 3 hovers. Let's just do them everywhere. light block right there. Alright. Or actually we need to do light blocks everywhere first, don't we? Just make an edge for this stuff. Okay. So let's do that there, and then we can eliminate that. I want to make sure that we do tier threes throughout the entire thing, so that way it. Uh... It works. Okay. So tier three. Tier three. Mm 
I guess we need to get rid of that one too then. Two, three, two, three. That actually should work. There's four right there. I know, we could go out one more. Why was it saying we couldn't? Let's test this theory out one more time. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Why are you acting like there wasn't room? All right, let's fix this now that we accidentally messed it up. Compact cube. Really hoping to use the tier fours, but if this fixes it, then that should be perfect balance everywhere. So test, hopefully successful test. We're not even gonna take it into combat. If it works here, then it'll work anywhere. Wobbly. Let's put some down thrusters behind the shields and see what it does in the front. Jeez, an hour and 40 minutes for this. My apologies, guys. I should have practiced this ro robot. Well, we saw what happened last time I practiced a robot beforehand, so... <laughs> I had to give up and just use the original one I built, so... Let us... Right. There, there, and there. Or we can remove that and then put them there instead. So that way they're nice and hidden. There. Let's test that out again one more time. That wants to flip forward. 
Is that really because of the thrust? Maybe I only needed two now. We're on to something there. I think we just have too much thrust now. Let's go ahead and take the t forward two away and see if that's perfect. Alrighty. Let's test one more time. At least one in the back maybe it won't uh, flip as easy since we only have enough CPU left for one more thruster I think if we only have the two in the front one in the back and it'll balance out seems like it's it's just heavy towards the front end I thought it was gonna be heavy towards the back end because of everything but I was wrong There it is. Can't fit two in there, can we? We can. Test. Sorry, you guys. Last test, I promise. As long as this works, and if it doesn't work, then we'll just take that off, and I will say thanks. Real quick, before... I don't want him to think I'm ignoring him, but... Whoa! Yeah, I think it's worse now. I think maybe one thruster down in the f in the back will be perfect. <sighs> Single. Oh no, wrong direction. And then. Let's get those light cubes back here again. 
So we're gonna do compact cubes. Try compact cubes just to uh, get some life in there. There we go. Test that out one last time. I really think if we eliminate the thrusters inside in the back, which we don't need anymore, it would probably work. Let's just fill that in with compact cubes. That'd be good. Last test, guys. Last test. Let's see if the lack of thrust there helps. Let's eliminate all the ones on the side. We don't need them. We don't need them. Now we only have the major ones right there and there. Because this is a light vehicle, so shouldn't need that much thrust on it, actually, so. Again, I wonder if it's that gun in the front. That's like it's too heavy. Hmm, this is very confusing, guys. Maybe we need the thrusters to be forward in the front now. Now that we eliminated the ones in the back. Now it's having the reverse effect. <laughs> I 
I'm really sorry for the length of this video guys, but I'm not going to edit this out because this was trial and error and yeah. We didn't know how this was, build was going to go either, so. Alright. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Did we finally do it? Seems to be the most stable we've had it so far. Let's do a bigger hover in the front and see what happens. Because <laughs> I'm out of options here. I don't know what else to do. I thought doing even hovers throughout the whole thing would be the right thing to do, but I don't know. This has been one challenging build. You gave me a hard one there, uh, Dark Dragon. You really did. <laughs> this one is kicking my patootie. C4 and then the number three. Now a two would probably fit better, right? I don't know. Let's see. Let's get this in there. And then let's get... Nope. Not quite enough room. Let's get that one. T1. Just a T. I guess if we're gonna do that, let's see if we can fit. Nope, we can't. This is the last uh, idea I have to fix this problem, so hopefully this works. <laughs> Physics in this game are really hard to figure out. Whoa. Seems to be doing worse now. <laughs> Didn't think that was possible, but. Let's change it back to what we had. And we 
had the T3. And we had one more that fit in there, right? Did another T3 fit in there? I don't remember now. Yeah, it sure did. Okay. And... We're gonna do one more thing. Actually, we'll go ahead and keep... We're gonna put those two up, like this, and this one forward. See what that does. <clears throat> oh, that down one in the back might screw me up now, though. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. That one in the back's messing me up now. I think. Let's take it out and see. At two hours, guys, we have to end, we have to end this, whether this thing's working or not. Hmm. I'm doing it up. Maybe if everything's up, it'll be more willing to listen. I don't know. a lot of ups in there. Let's try that out. Let's see what happens. other thing I can think of to do is I'm removing all all of these thrusters that are raising it up and I'm going to put one giant one on the bottom that helps boost it forward that's it it's the only other thing I can think of to do so let's get rid of all these all aren't needed I'm gonna just add those, leave those be. And put a giant one in the front here. Where can we put it at though? Will this let me do a square here? Hopefully it will. Yeah, it will. Nice. Okay, now let's do a T5 here. It's too close. Oh, I know. I know exactly what to do. We're gonna do it reverse. Okay, we're gonna get this, put it there. Let's see if we can do... 
There we go. That connects that nicely. All right. Now we can do three there. There we go. And then now we should have just enough room for that. absolute last thing I can do guys and it's slightly forward compared to the other thrusters so let's test this out and hope for the best seems to like get unstable but I mean this is what I need to find out to see if this is gonna work or not stable we've got, but it's still having the issue of flipping over and wanting to do flips before it goes down. This has got to be a robot in the back, it's just only support. We can't be out in the front doing all these uh, full high kills and everything, but alright, I'm gonna call that successful, hopefully. Do we have enough CPU to maybe do two thrusters in the front? Maybe that would help. The only problem is I don't think I have the room underneath my, uh, my robot there to do that. Yep, be in the way of those two. See, we already have one, two, three, four, five, if we just do the ones on top. Let's just try taking these guns off and see what happens, right? Do those thrusters right there like so. The one in the underneath like that. The ones underneath were just more for like having extras that are hard to shoot off, but if this is what helps it to work right. Please tell me that works. That is the most stable it's been. Okay, if I don't push anything, it'll level itself out. Just found that out. Yeah, because if we do anything else, we just cause problems for it. Come on. 
There you go. Level yourself up. The hovers are really wonky now. They really are. I'd like to test this out. This. Okay. Double out. Okay. It's doing a lot better. I wonder if we do one more thruster in the back, it'll be good, or two more. That's even throughout the whole thing, so... Oh. We needed just the color change. Where that'll work. Definitely quick. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and take those last two off. We're going to even take the center one off. I think we just need the two in the front, and we're good. guys well that is our bot and hopefully it works well for you dark dragon this was a very challenging robot i thought it was gonna be very simple but i think because i'm using hovers is what's making it so difficult to uh, make this uh, work but it seems to be working now People don't understand when you're trying to do something here. It's still doing the lean forward thing, but it's not as bad. Okay, almost didn't flip over. We're on to something here, we just... The only other thing I could think of is maybe put a thruster on the top in the back, but I don't think we can put a thruster on the top without it blocking something. Come on, game. We need to go ahead and end the episode, so... Let us try this last ditch effort thing. Nope, it won't let us, it's too big. And I'm pretty sure, smaller one, still too big. If we do two T3s there? 
That might be good enough. leave it with just the two and we're just got to have her low which means motors are gonna just destroy us but that's the best we're gonna be able to do with this bot this one's probably gonna be mostly for show so sorry dark dragon I was really trying to get one that worked really well but I think the only way I could do it would be make it even larger and I have to do it all out of light cubes so I might uh, do something later with that but all right thank you all for joining me today and yeah there's our defiant so thank you this is mad dog signing off and we'll see you next time Psych underground uh join me as we howl at the moon as we go arr, arr, arr.